Hi, it's Arit here and welcome to the Estatino Artist channel where we share how to simplify your marketing so you can amplify your results and make more money doing what you love. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to design a YouTube banner in Photoshop that looks like the one in front of you that you see here on the screen. It's professional looking, it's attention grabbing, and right away when you look at it, when visitors land on your channel, they'll know what your channel's about. Let's get started. So first thing we need to do is create this canvas in Photoshop. So the size of this canvas, I'm just gonna go to image size, it's 2560 by 1440. So let's go to file new. And you can see here, I've already inputted it in 2560 by 1440, 72 resolutions, fine. RGB is fine. We're going to hit create. And then uh, we have our canvas here. So the first thing I'd like to do is to always have my assets ready. So any sort of images that I'll be using in the design, I'll go and get it ahead of time. So that is just easy and it makes designing the banner a lot faster. You can see here I have a background image. I have two other images for the sides of the banner and then a photo of you or whoever the YouTube creator is. So make sure you gather all those things. You can go to a site like pixabay.com and I have it open right here, pixabay.com and you can easily use this site to search for royalty-free images. It's all free for commercial use, you can see here, and you don't need to provide any credit, and they have a great selection of photos. So first thing I want you to do is find your background image. For this one, we used a forest, and you can see here it's a very sort of monotonous pattern. So find something similar that's not too distracting, but still kind of goes along with the theme of your channel. For Roland, his channel is called Getting It Done North of Seven, and his channel is all about building things, fixing things, outdoor projects. So that's why we have these types of images on the banner. So go to pixabay.com, type in. So for me, I typed in forest or outdoors, and I found this image, which is what we ended up using on the banner. You could do the same and then find two other images for the sides of the banner that speak to what it is your channel is about. I already have all of these images ready to go, so I'm gonna go back to our canvas here, go to File, Place Embedded, and then in my Downloads folder, I have this forest image. So we're gonna move that, click and drag, move that into place. I'm gonna click and drag this corner here and hit the check mark. Now the next thing I want you to do is to go and download a YouTube template graphic so that when we are designing, we know what information, we know to include all of that important information in the middle of the banner here because this banner will look different on different devices. You'll be able to see the entire thing on television, the middle piece right here on mobile, and also that's like the desktop minimum for smaller desktop browsers. And then it gets to this wider area where you'll, where you'll see this entire banner on desktop. So all you need to do is go to Google, type in YouTube template, and then click on images and you can download any one of these. So I would click on it. I actually ended up downloading this one and then right click, save image, and then it'll go to your downloads folder and I'll go back here to file, place embedded, and then we have this image right here. So I'll double click and it automatically is the same size as the canvas. So I just need to hit the check mark and then we're gonna come to the opacity and move this down. A notch so that we can still see what's happening in the background but you see here all of this information um, so the name of the channel this text over here uh, Roland's image as well we want to make sure it's in that red zone so that's the safe zone because that's what will be seen on all devices so what we're gonna do next is to start creating the frame of this banner so creating these bars and we're gonna go back here. I'm gonna hit the rectangle tool and you can choose whatever color you'd like. We chose black for this one and you can come in here and select whatever color you like, choose colors that are in line with your branding, hit okay. And then you're gonna click and drag 
so that the top of the rectangle hits the bottom of the template right here. And the reason why we're putting a bar there is because it prevents Roland from kind of floating in the air if there was no bar there, because they do see, if you are browsing on your television, you're gonna see the entire banner here. So it does that, and it also adds a bit of a frame to the banner, which looks nice. So that's the first one. The second one, the second bar that we're gonna create, I'm gonna again click and drag so that the top of the rectangle meets that top part there, and then let go, and just minimize that. And let's make this a little bit wider. This is going to be where the channel name is gonna sit. So we have these bars here, and by the way, if you want to, if this template's distracting you, you can always hide it. Just hit the I button, and you can kind of hide it and show it whenever you need to take a look. So I'm gonna hide it for now. And then we're gonna put the text on top. So put your channel name. I'm gonna use the, the type tool, and then click and start typing. Oh, it's like a crazy font and super small. So let's highlight all of this. Go to the character tool. And if you don't see it in your shortcuts here, you just you can go to window and then character and it'll bring up the same box. I always have it handy. So I'm gonna just click and drag here, or you can also come here and make it bigger, but I find it's not big enough. So click and drag. And let's make it white. Let's make it Lato. Uh, we'll go with Lato Heavy. And you can see here, it kind of looks weirdly distorted, and it's because these aren't 100%. So I'm going to make this 100, and then this 100, hit Enter. And now I can see that we need to make this smaller, like so. All right, so let's do getting it done. And then make it even smaller here, like so. And this first part is white and this part was yellow. So I'm gonna change the color, click over here. That second part was a bright yellow, like so hit the check mark and then come back here to the move tool and click and drag this into place. So it's gonna look something like this. And we're gonna make our little adjustments towards the end to make sure everything looks great. If you want to adjust the spacing between the letters, then go to your character toolbox and you can do that over here and just play around the spacing until you have something that you like. So. You might have a short YouTube channel name. He has that second part, which is north of seven. So to create a bit of contrast, we're gonna put this in a different font. And this one was gloss and bloom. So we're gonna go north of seven and hit the check mark, go to the character, make it white. Select the move tool and bring that into place and to Again make it easier to read against that background. We're gonna add you can see here. There's a little bit of a shadow So we're do we'll double click on the text layer north of seven Add a drop shadow and you can adjust the drop if you like the angle of it the distance of it you can play around with all of these dials until you got something you like and hit okay all right so the next thing we want to do is add this second bar with text i suggest including if you have a regular publishing schedule include something like this where you're saying new videos every week new videos every wednesday put your publishing schedule on your banner so people when they land they know it's an active channel you can also use this space to to create a little statement about what your channel's about. So we actually recently edited this banner for Roland to include a statement that says, uh, I think it was fix it, build it, own it. And that right away tells people that 
you know, this channel is all about fixing things, building things, different projects. So again, it makes it more clear. People know what to expect in terms of content on your channel, and that'll give them the decision whether they want to dive in or subscribe. So let's put that bar over here. We'll go back to our banner and create a yellow bar. So you can tell everything that I do is about creating contrast. And if we have a light colored bar, we want to have dark colored text and vice versa. So this turned out to be black. I forgot I need to change the fill color to yellow. And if you don't see your colors here, again, you can click on this and then select whatever color you like. All right, and then I'm gonna come back to the text tool and add new videos every week. We're gonna just make this in an easier to read font. Let's go back to Lato, Lato Heavy. And I wanna make this all caps, so I'm gonna hit this right here and then make it a lot smaller. And we'll make it black as well. Okay, so let's move this using the move tool, moving it into place. I think I'll make it a little bit smaller. So it looks cleaner right there is nice and I'm just gonna make the template visible to make sure okay everything is in the red it looks good so we'll likely need to move this over a little bit when we bring in Roland's photo so let's do that now actually you can take a photo with your phone you know cameras nowadays on your phone super easy usually great quality what you want to do is take a bunch of photos and then import your image, go to file, place embedded. And I have Roland's photo here. So he took a bunch of photos in his backyard, I believe. I'm gonna make this smaller. And by the way, if you're into, you know, outdoor DIY projects, building things, fixing things, he has a whole whack load of excellent videos on his channel. You should check it out, getting it done north of seven. Okay. so. We made this smaller and what we want to do now is cut Roland out of the photo and remove the background. So it's super easy to do this with Photoshop 2021. You just need to go to quick selection tool and hit the, make sure you're selected on the photo layer and hit select subject. And the AI will actually detect where the person is and select it automatically for you, which is amazing. Uh, it's usually, pretty good. I'm going to zoom in by hitting control plus on my keyboard. If you're on a Mac, I think the control button on a keyboard on your keyboard is the command button next to the space bar. All right. So you can see here, it did a pretty great job of selecting Roland. Once you have you selected, you're going to right click, select inverse, right click on this layer, the image layer, and then hit rasterize layer and then hit delete on your keyboard. Now what we're going to do is move. We'll just get rid of that selection, move Roland into place. I'm going to zoom out again, control minus, and we'll make him bigger. So we'll go to edit free transform, click and drag. And just about there is good. I don't want his head to cut off. So I'm using the arrows on my keyboard to get really precise. Okay. And we're going to move him behind this bar and then, sorry, Roland cut off your lower body. <laughs> so we're going to move this down here and we just kind of adjust the layers. So we want him to be, we want him to be actually on top of all of this, but behind this bar. So this bar needs to sit behind or on top of Roland. So I moved that rectangle on top of the image and then we can come in here, grab that rectangle selection and then see how it gave me this? It's because I'm not selected on Roland's image. So I'm gonna hit Roland's image and then again hit delete on my keyboard to get rid of that extra piece of the image. So that looks pretty good so far. You 
might want to just stop here and say, oh, this looks good. I'm just going to use this. Or we can bring in those other photos. So in case you want to do that, I'll show you. But let's just, again, come back here, double check everything. All right, so we want to move Roland a little bit this way. You see, I'm using the red zone. I think just distributing this text looks nice over here. And then this bringing that more center. Okay, and then we have room for the images on either side. So keep in mind, if you are putting images on either side, they won't show on mobile. So this red zone is just mobile. Uh, this, this yellow zone is tablet. And then this is the entire desktop. So they won't see it on mobile, but it's okay. They'll see it on desktop. So let's hide this layer again. And bring in our other images. So remember, you went to go grab other images. We're going to go file, place embedded downloads folder i have my motorbike photo right here click and drag to make that smaller and move this into place right about there and we're going to move that behind the black bar behind roland so let's move this down and that looks great Next, we wanna bring in the other photo, which by the way, I couldn't find this exact photo, so I just grabbed another one. But I'm gonna show you how to do this slanted cut over here. So we'll go back, file, place embedded, just grab this other photo, make it smaller, and then move it into place. So something like there is good and I'll, I'll probably move over the text as well so what we want to do here is create that slanted cut now to do that you want to hit the rectangle selection tool and just select the photo as normal just create a border around it like so and we're gonna create a slant of this selection so you want to right click transform selection and on this corner over here, you want to hold down control on your keyboard if you're using a PC or command if you're using a Mac. Hold that key down on your keyboard, click and drag towards the left like so. So it's going to create the slant and you can decide how much of a slant you want. I think right about there looks good. Hit the check mark. Now I'm going to right click select inverse so technically so it's what it's going to do is going to select this piece make sure you're on that image and then we need to right click rasterize this and then hit delete and it's going to get rid of that piece right there so you have a nice slant and then you can put your template back on and just move things around make sure it looks good I'd probably make that north of seven part a little smaller and you can make your little minor adjustments like so. And there you have it. Your YouTube banner design is done in Photoshop. Now all you need to do is save this, save this as the PSD file as well as the image. You can go to file, save as, and name your file and save the PSD because that will be your editable file that you could always come back to make changes onto your banner. And then you also need to save it again, change this to a PNG or a JPEG so that you have the image file and that's the file that you go ahead and upload to your channel. And that's it guys, that's it for this tutorial. If you found it helpful, please hit the like button and I'll also include some other design tutorials, uh, Photoshop design tutorials in the description below so you could check those out. If you need help designing your banner, if you need any help at all with graphics or marketing materials, I'm happy to help. Again, I'll put my email address in the description. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye.